Hello everybody and welcome back to our Let's Play series of Hearts of Iron 4, the Kaiserreich Redux mod as the Republic of Texas. In our last installment, we um, have basically been witnessing the downfall of America as all the various factions have been struggling it out, fighting for survival. And the Mexicans have also joined the International, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Because I was hoping to expand into Mexico at some point, but we will see about that later. Anyways, we are also trying to build up our economy, so we're just going to go down this path and get more mining and more resources and really, really exploit that, uh, you know, that Texan, the Texan resources. Because Texas is a very rich state in terms of our resources here, especially in regards to our oil, which is, if we look at our oil here, see right there, this little province, 200 oil, 200 oil, 20, that's like, that's, that's like over 400 oil, that is pretty fucking sick if you ask me it's pretty amazing amazing all right so the american union state is getting pushed back i don't like to see that i like to see the syndicalists getting defeated push against the syndicalists washington better do this MacArthur, you better make up for it if you're going to destroy the Union State. You better fucking beat the Syndicalists, or I'm going to be very mad at you. We shall declare you a national villain in the Texas history books, if you fail. Really, if anyone fails to stop the Syndicalists, we're going to declare them as, you know, historical villains in our history books. And of course, if the Syndicalists win, then we're just going to call them Satan. So, yeah. Better do well. The people of Texas are rooting for you, everyone, except who isn't the Syndicalists. Go whoever else. Okay, so we've got the bolster of the Texaco. Which gives us a whole bunch of political power. And we can actually start building things with it. We can get, like, early mobilization. And the civilian economy is... It's minus 30%. We need more. We need way more production. We're actually going to go wait for partial mobilization so we can actually get uh, some more production. So we're going to wait a few more days. Let's expand the mines to get more civilian goods. Bolivia and Paraguay at war. What? Okay, actually, you know what? Uh, should I do that, or should I actually wait? How long? Oh, that's gonna be 60 days. That's gonna be a long time. No, actually, we're not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to get the Second Republic for 200 uh, political power, and then we can change it, and then we can go back to that. Because I just want to get out of civilian factory, or civilian economy, because civilian economy is absolute fucking garbage. Excavation, more resources... Lovely, lovely, lovely. Building that up, those guns. And let's look into getting maybe interwar artillery so we can, because we do have infantry units that do have uh, artillery. All right, look at these guys here. Yeah, they have towed artillery. The Nigerian Free State has declared war on Goringia. Goring Goringia. I'm guessing is that let me see, is that, um, what's Goringia? Oh, it's Hermann Goring's station, I guess. Uh, all right, let's just keep on, keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the end. Yep, so basically Africa's going to shit. Second Republic shall be declared. We shall get our shall get our political power, and then we shall we'll get up our PP, and then we can change our economy. Actually, can I get a war economy? No, I can't. More than 50%? No, I can't. Actually, wait. Yeah, I can. I can actually get a war economy. Although, in reality, I think partial mobilization will be just fine. Uh, 
Uh, I can't be at war, so we're just going to get partial mobilization. And that'll boost up. Yep, see, there we go. We were at 2, now we're at 9. So we're doing fairly well now. Uh, let's go back to the resources here. Expanding the mines. Yes, yes, yes. And now that we got our... The fall of Burgos has fallen. Uh, the Carlos temporary capital has been captured by the advancing anarcho-Spanish. Uh, that's unfortunate. Garner speech. Cactus Jack. This is another day. So passionately in favor of Texan independence, it strongly denounced MacArthur and the junta. We finished the speech by announcing a run for president under the Democratic ticket. Despite the fact that Wilbert Lee O'Daniel has already been nominated in Alred's absence. Okay. We're expanding the mines. Uh, out of... Wait, let's see. Oh, uh, the broad progressive, progressive block forms. Lyndon Baines Johnson has gained a large following in the months since Texas left the Union. Originally a supporter of Long, who moved to the left... Uh, who moved left to, to the... Who moved left due to the bleeding Texas crisis. I feel like that's a typo. He has struck with supporters of Alred who want his policies to go further left. These policies, known as the New Deal, have become popular with Texans, although LBJ still has a small yet devoted amount of supporters. That's supposed to, I guess that's supposed to be Lyndon Johnson. Like in the actual historical timeline. Who was president? I think in the 70s, was it? I'm not American. I think, although I think it was in the 70s. He was president, like the late sixties, that early seventies. I think he was the um, I think he I think he was the Great Society person, the president that implemented that policy. Ah, uh, okay. Expanding more and more mines. Draw the borders of eighteen eighteen forty eight. Uh, formed the what, United States of Western America. Formed the Confederate States of America. Can I declare war on them? No, I can't, right? No, world tension needs to be higher. Slowly expanding more and more mines. Also, land has capitulated. Expanding mines. Mining for grants. Does that mean we can actually trade more stuff now? And not be totally screwed? Yes, we can. Oh no, I won't be able to construct anything. Alright, never mind. We're gonna have to wait a little bit. We'll wait for our uh, factories to finish and all that good stuff. We got two Texan infantry. Alright, send them up north. They were done. They were finished recruiting. We're going to continue recruiting more. Can I send more volunteers? Can I just send volunteers to like every faction? And just fight the syndicalists? I mean, technically I probably could. Portuguese empires joined the Entente. We're getting mining grants. Holy shit. That takes a long ass time to finish. That'll get us a whole bunch of good resources. To be honest, we're probably going to be doing a lot of tank stuff. I think it would probably be best because, you know, considering that we do have, you know, so much oil, we could just, you know, we could just, you know, use our tank, use tanks and just crush everyone. But I think we are going to go for tanks. Uh, the Fall of Batavia. Uh... Right. Do you want to limit exports? You have free trade. It's construction speed? Not bad. It would be a bad idea to get free trade to get resources to market. We get a lot more resources to market. But we do get a really good construction speed bonus. For some reason we just lost all our speed. Wait, why are we tr are we trading for oil? No, 
Oh, we're not. Okay. For some reason, I thought we were. Uh, uh, the Equan Revolt. Oh, yeah, that's like the fundamentalist terrorist revolt, basically, right? Yeah. Although they're pretty much going to be dead. You know what? I might actually go for that free trade agreement. Go for free trade here. Where is that? Where was that again? Yeah. Oh, it's right here. Let's go for free trade. And that'll get us a construction bonus of... Oh, wow. Okay. Nope. Oh, yep. Alright, so we basically just... Nope. Never mind. Went from 5 to 2 up to 7. Everything's being calculated. We actually gained from that. Do we have any chrome? Are we selling any chrome? We're not buying any chrome meal off anyone, are we? No. Rubber? Can we buy rubber? Buy steel? Yes, we can. Buy rubber? Can Can we buy tungsten? Yes, we can. That brings us down to two factories, but we're gonna kind of we're gonna bounce back from that. And our industry will thank us for it. Although we still miss out steel. Can't do any more steel. Uh, Iquan's done. No, I can't do that. Okay. We at least get some production on our steel. But we just lose out on our tanks. Our, our tanks and support equipment, we just kind of lose a little bit of production. Capability, but everything else, our guns are good. Everything else is doing pretty good, all things considered. The American Union state is going to collapse. Looks like it's going to collapse. Oh, good lord, this is taking forever. Election. Oh, we should look into doing that at some point. Um, Texas has vast riches. Oh, good lord. Why is this arbitrarily over 100 days? Makes no sense. Uh, the tungsten and rubber trade was terminated. So now I have no military factories. I think I'm going to have to cut back on our... Fortunately, I'm going to have to cut back on that. So we can get factories to be producing. I'd like to get some more resources just so we don't have to trade them. Good lord! It's taking forever! Oh, thank God, it's finally over. Okay, we've done this. All right, we're done. Mining grants. I don't get why that's so unnecessarily long, though. Because, like, you know, I mean, like, in the original uh, Hearts of Iron 4, like, when you play as the Soviet Union, for example, if you do the Crate Purge, it takes, like, 200 days to do. But at least there's, like, events that you can actually direct and you can make ch changes and you can actually do things. That was literally just... 100 days, or 130 days to do that. That is so fucking irritating. Absolutely annoying. Alright, so, uh... Let's add more resources. Because why not? Texas has riches, and let's do it. Let's, let's get them. Let's exploit those riches. For the glory of Texas. Independent and free. Netherlands has joined the Reichs Pact. Looks like the combined syndicalists are still holding out. A little annoying. Are they winning? Oh lord, please don't tell me they're winning. How strong is the Western Command Center? Honestly, these guys should all band together and beat back these guys. 
Kingdom of New England. All right. Can we get Texas vast riches? Probably gonna have to get expand the interstate and then get expand the colleges. Or what we could also do is we could also we could also start getting into the politics because we actually do need a leader. You know, we we do need a leadership. So you know what? We're gonna get uh we're gonna get public elections. We're gonna do that. The paternal autocrats are gaining power. The Texelco. Tex Texaco? Not Texoco. Texaco. Alright, so what's going on in Africa? What's what's going on in Africa here? Okay, so Africa, outer heaven. Uh the Kivu clique. Beringia is surviving. This guy is Juan Augusto de Costa Almeida. These guys, and they're all just basically fighting each other. This guy's got a massive ass scar here. Oh, the Mau Maus. Who are like Kenyan communists, basically. Uh, Cameroon. All all these people are basically killing each other. Africa's just a big old clusterfuck. As per usual. Here we go! Election time, baby. Independence victory. Public elections. So, the election of 1938. Texas's recent declaration of independence has left some wanting a new governor. Or prison, as they call it. There are three major parties, the Democrats, that have held control over Texas in recent years, the Texas Independence Party, only barely holding on to power, and the Broad Progressive Party, a splinter faction of the Democrats. The Democrats are split in leadership between Wilbert Lee Pappy O'Daniel and the former U.S. presidential nominee, nominee John Garner. So, let's see. I'm guessing this is Pappy and this is Garner. Uh, let's see, so, add two civilian fa this guy gets, based, answer the Texaco question, aligns with Texaco, defend the free market, or free trade, two military factories and infrastructure, plus four building slots, two building slots, plus two infrastructure, and the new deal, construction speed, We're the Texas Independence Party, right? Yeah. We get t plus 10 construction speed. Efficiency gap plus 10. Factory output plus 10. And gets event the New Deal. Create that which gets... Uh, Texan Command and Security Service which grants plus 5%, plus 0.5% political power. 15 stability, division, defense, core. You know what? Trick the press. Uh, we can go progressive victory. I'm not really going to go the progressive victory. So, no, we're not going with progressives. Uh, we're going to probably go with... I want to say either Gardner or, or Alred. Really, this is the one I'm looking at. Uh, extend guard. Oh, we can actually go down here as well. We can go down these paths. I think, you know what? So I'm actually going to go with Garner. And let's see what happens. Let's go with Garner. So just get that. There we go. Garner's won. John Nance Garner elected president of Texas. Looks kind of ugly, but all right. Many thought that John Nance Garner was through with politics once he left Washington for his home of Texas. But they were wrong. After disavowing the federal government and strongly coming out in favor of Texan independence, Garner announced his entrance into Texan politics. Even though the Democratic Party was split in two, Garner and the Democratic Party managed to unseat James Alred, the first president of the Republic of Texas. Now the world waits for what Cactus Jack will do with Texas. However, many fear that his policies are becoming more and more authoritarian. And that is exactly what we shall do.
All right, well, uh... What we can do is we can start going for mo war stuff, because war stuff is pretty good. Get, uh, infantry equipment. National Spirit will get, uh... Reduction cost minus 5% to our infantry equipment. Let's do that. All right, so... I hope you've enjoyed... I'm gonna end it here. I hope you have enjoyed this installment of our Let's Play series of... Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich Redux as the Republic of Texas. If you enjoyed the episode, uh, drop a like, leave a comment, it's good for the algorithm, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And I will see you guys next time.